Greetings to all. Today we will discuss about shape and size of the cell. Cells show great variety in their shapes such as spherical, cuboidal, columnar, elongated or spindle shaped. The shape of the cell depends on the function it performs. Let us understand this with the help of few examples. Skin has thin, flat and rectangular cells with no intercellular space between them. This shape enables the skin cells to act as a protective covering. Neurons or nerve cells are elongated, branched and thin thread like structures. This shape enables them to transmit messages quickly in the form of electrical signals from one part of the body to another. Human red blood cells are shaped like a disc to transport oxygen. Muscle cells are spindle shaped to help in movement by contracting and relaxing. In plants, guard cells are bean shaped to open and close the pores during exchange of gases. However, certain cells can change their shape. For example, amoeba has no definite shape. It keeps on changing its shape by giving out projections known as pseudopodia that are used for locomotion, feeding, capturing and other activities. White blood cells are irregular or have no shape. This helps them squeeze out of the blood capillaries by changing their shape. Cell size may vary from a micrometer to a few centimeter. One micrometer is one thousandth of a millimeter. Bacteria and red blood cells are some examples of small sized cells. A bacteria cell ranges in size from 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 micrometer. Whereas red blood cell is about 7 micrometer in size. In our body, nerve cells are the longest cells. The ostrich egg is the largest cell among all living organisms. It is about 170 millimeter in diameter. The alga acetabularia, an unicellular organism, consists of a single cell having a length of 10 cm. The size of the cells has no relationship with the body size of the organism. The size of the cell is related to its function. For example, the nerve cells both in rat and elephant are long and branched and perform the same function. 